Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to privately host videos on your WordPress site using Amazon S3. Now, all necessary links are in my website in the description box below. Now, you will need to create an account with Amazon Web Services. Throughout the account configuration, you will be asked for your credit card, a telephone confirmation, and the support plan. Make sure to select Basic, which is free, and continue then go ahead and launch the uh, management console log in and from here select S3 under storage and content delivery now from the following window create a bucket a bucket is another name for a folder select the region I'm in Florida so I'll say like US standard instead of Oregon and name your bucket in this case I'll name it avoid errors click on create perfect now this, is, this is my bucket here my folder now once I go into that bucket I can create uh, subfolders if I wanted to or upload any uh, media immediately to that uh, bucket I'll go ahead and add uh, files and select just a, a sample media here for this tutorial and then start uploading now we're uploading throughout the uh, management console but we can do this throughout the S3 Fox organizer add-on I'll show you in a sec what I'm talking about now we're not done yet we have our media uploaded now we need to create a user so go to the far right click on the little down arrow and from the drop-down select security credentials here click on continue to security credentials if you don't want to see this window anymore just check mark don't show me this message again here select users create new users now enter a name for that user make sure that generate an access key for each user is selected and click on create you can download the credentials from here but I rather copy and paste so I'll select show user credentials and then copy all this information you're gonna need it for the S3 organizer and for the uh, player plugin once you copy the uh, credentials close and double click on the user you created here attach user policy we're gonna make him an administrator now to the right of administrator access click on select apply policy okay so we're done on the management console for now now we need to download the S3 Fox organizer add-on the link is in my website keep that in mind go ahead and download this is a simple installation allow this works similar to FileZilla exactly similar go ahead and install now and restart the browser once restarted go to tools s3 organizer if you can find the tools just right click on the top of the page and select menu bar and here click on tools s3 organizer now this came up because I haven't created any uh, accounts I'll just click on OK to any pop-ups here okay now let's create an account so click on manage accounts enter the account name access key and secret key we got when we created the user remember add close now you have access to your bucket and inside that bucket is the uh, the media we uploaded throughout the management console you can also upload your media from here the right side is your bucket and the left side is your computer you can always click on browse and browse for any media you want to upload to that bucket now once you have uploaded all the media that you need for your website select them all right click and edit ACL you can do it on a group or you can do it individually once you click on edit ACL select read everyone and OK to play this media on your WordPress site you need a player the best player that I recommend 
is S3 Media Maestro. It's cheap compared to any other players out there and it has an extensive amount of videos teaching you how to uh, customize your media plugin. Once you have installed the plugin to your site, S3 Media Maestro, click on settings, on the plugin settings, and here enter your access key, your security key, and the bucket name, very important, just like you see it here. Save all settings. Once all settings is saved, I'll create a, a post, a test post. Notice this uh, the two new tabs here. Now you can go back to the S3 Fox organizer, right click and copy URL to clipboard, add video player, and here where it says S3 Fire URL, paste that link. Now you can just add the uh, file name, you don't need the entire link, and then insert player. You'll also have more player options, but like I said, they have tutorials teaching you how to manage this and insert player. Now click on preview and you'll notice here your video. It loads really fast. As you can see, I can play my video and I can forward it if I want to. And it's all privately hosted on Amazon S3. If you want faster loading for your media worldwide, then I suggest you configure CloudFront in Amazon. Now you can also configure this throughout the S3 Fox organizer. All you need to do is go back, right click on the media, and here select copy distribution URLs. If you don't have anything configured, manage distribution will come up. Click that, and if you want, you can add a comment, a C name, and create distribution. This will automatically place the bucket and its content in CloudFront for faster distribution worldwide. Now, this is the easiest method for configuring the uh, CloudFront. Instead of going into the management console of Amazon Web Services and configuring throughout there. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.